Get out of CNN land. Anchor stunned by what CNN guests let slip on live TV by that conservative girl politics U.S. News from AdWorldNews.com. CNN's leftist anchors were stunned on Friday morning when their very own guests told them to get out of CNN land on live television. You're going to love this. On Friday morning, uh, Ian uh, Bremer, a political scientist and president of the Eurasia Group, said it's been a good week for President Donald Trump and thus a good week for CNN to step outside its bubble. You really want the big picture, Bremer asked on CNN's New Day Friday morning. This has been a good week for Trump. We get out of CNN land for just a second and 4% growth in the United States. The Europeans back down on trade. He now looks like a winner on that front. The North Koreans, more progress with remains coming back, Bren, uh, Bren, Brenner or Bremer said. Uh, the stuff about Michael Cohen, I mean, is he credible? He was Trump's lawyer. If you're a Trump supporter, this is just blah, 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 Bremer added. Now the Helsinki stuff was really bad for Trump, and he had to walk it back, and the Republicans were hitting him pretty uh, hard for a day, and now he's basically said, okay, I'm not going to uh, do the summit this year after all. I'm not going to recognize Crimea as part of Russia. Nothing actually happened, Bremer concluded. Let's take a quick listen. You asked me about the big picture. Yeah. So you really want the big picture? Yeah. yeah. This has been a good week for Trump. Wow. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, we get out of CNN land for yeah. just a second. Give it to us. And 4% growth in the United States. The Europeans back down on trade. He now looks like a winner on that front. The North Koreans, more progress with remains coming and stuff about Michael Cohen. Uh, I mean, is he credible? He was Trump's lawyer. Uh, if you are a Trump supporter, this is just blah, blah, blah. Now the hell see? Well, indeed, President Donald Trump has had a very good week, which has got to be downright infuriating for his opponents on the left who began foaming at the mouth the second the news about the Cohen tapes broke. Naturally, these unhinged leftists Hope the illegal and unethical uh, tapes on Cohen's part, the recordings would finally be Trump's undoing. But unfortunately for them, it turned out to be a giant nothing burger. The most interesting part was Trump asking someone to bring him a Coke. With Democrats in despair over this massive letdown, Trump added insult to injury by claiming several major wins this week completely overshadowing the Cohen tape scandal that liberals were so excited about in the first place. It was a beautiful thing to watch if you're a Republican, of course. For starters, second quarter GDP jumped a whopping 4.1%, setting the best pace in four years. We're on track to hit the highest annual growth rate in over 13 years, President Donald Trump said in remarks an hour after the report hit. And I will say this right now, and I will say it strongly as the deals come in one by one, we're going to go a lot higher than these numbers, and these are great numbers. Gross domestic product grew at a solid 4.1% pace in the second quarter, its best pace since 2014, boosting hopes that the economy is ready to break out of its uh, decade-long slumber. The number matched expectations from economists surveyed by Reuters and was uh, boosted by a surge in consumer spending and business investment. Stock market futures edged lower on the news while government bonds yields moved lower. That's the fastest rate of the growth since the 4.9% uh, in the third quarter of the 2014 and the uh, third best growth rate since the Great Recession. In addition to the strong second quarter, the Commerce Department revised its first quarter reading up from 2% to 2.2% source CNBC. This wasn't the only major win Trump claimed this week, though. As promised, North Korea also handed over the remains of American soldiers who died in the Korean War. These incredible American heroes will soon be lay, uh, lay at rest uh, on sacred American soil, Trump said. A U.S. Air Force plane carrying what are believed to be the remains of U.S. troops 
uh, killed during the Korean War some 65 years ago, arrived Friday morning in Asan Air Base in South Korea. Troops from various nations serving in South Korea under the United Nations Command, UNC, presented an honor guard uh, before the plane as white glove troops in different uniforms descended the ramp of the U.S. Air Force uh, C-17, carefully holding uh, cases wrapped in the U.N. flag, source CNN. Trump's base doesn't give a hoot about a tape of the president conversing with Michael Cohen. We may be disturbed that his own lawyer would record him, but Trump certainly didn't lose any support over the incident. Meanwhile, our economy is growing and our soldiers are coming home to rest where they belong. That's what matters to us and should matter to every American, just as Ian Bremer noted this morning. It's time for the folks at CNN to wake the hell up. Yeah, get out of la-la land thinking they're going to bring down the... No matter what the tapes hold, it's not doing uh, anything uh, to destroy Trump's fan base uh, or support. Um, let me know what you guys think. Look at the faces on CNN. You know that they were thrilled with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.